Welcome back to the LRF YouTube channel. So today you're back with me, Lori. Today we're just gonna go through my gluten ham workout. I'm gonna show you some of my favorite workouts, um, but I'm just gonna have my pre-workout now, um, and then I'll see you back in the gym. So I make my cream of rice as a cake because I have like a really bad sweet tooth, especially on prep. So I have, I put way some cream of rice in here, bacon powder, and I use mine with water. Um, and then I chuck it in the microwave and I make it like a little mug cake then, but obviously in a bowl. So on my cream of rice, I just have a little bit of peanut butter on top and a squeeze bath. Hey guys, so we're in the gym now. Um, so I'm just going to go through what I take during my workout and before. So I use the, some creatine and I use that in my water and I also use um, EAAs. Um, before workout, I can't use pre-workout, like I just can't handle it. It makes me tired, I don't know why. So I use this um, and it feels like a pre-workout without the stickiness and yeah, and I don't start like feeling weird after it. But yeah. So guys, I'm just about to train lower. So I'm just writing out my logbook now. We're gonna start off with some adductors, then a glute drive, going on to the seated ham curls, pendulum, leg extensions, abductors, and then split squats. Um, I train lower like three times a week, just because obviously the bikini class is lower dominant. So this is probably one of my favorite exercises to do. Um, the reason why I logbook is got like loads of benefits. You know, you can come down here with a game plan, so you know what you're doing rather than like wasting time thinking like, what am I gonna do next? Especially if you're like an anxious person and you're like walking into a gym and you're not comfortable in. Like rather than walking around thinking, I don't know what machine to go on, I don't know what I'm doing. Like if you write this down first, like at least you're gonna go in thinking, you know, you're not gonna have that anxiety of thinking everyone's looking at you, thinking that you don't know what you're doing. Another one as well is like, you need to track your progress. So obviously if you're gonna go in and you don't know what you did last week, like you're not gonna be able to progress. And you're not, you know, you're not gonna know where you are basically. So like if you, for instance, did, I don't know, like a 100K squat last week for 12, this week then try and up the weight slightly. If you don't quite get the rep range you want, then just, you know, aim for the reps rather than the weight and just keep doing that then every week. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for log booking and also like you can do um, your feelings as well because I know not all of us like will have a good session um, you can leave the gym feeling quite like oh that gym that, that session was awful um, but you can log thinking okay I'm just about to start my cycle that's going to make your fatigue a lot faster um, if you had a really bad sleep the night before that's really going to affect you as well so that's some few tips on log booking. Okay, so I'm going to go through two of my favourite exercises in the gym. So this one is the hyperextension. Obviously you can use this for your back, but you can also use it for your glutes as well. So I'm going to show you how you can do that. So what you want to think about is sort of like an RDL. So you want to think about thrusting your hips into this pad. So you can also use a resistance band to make it a little bit more difficult or even a plate. Um, but I prefer to use a resistance band. So what you want to think about doing is keeping your chin tucked in and it's like an RDL, so when you go down, there. So you don't overextend your back, so you don't want to be arching your back. It's literally down, and then there. And think about pushing your hips through the pad. So I'll show you how I use the resistant band. So this is my second favorite exercise, seated hamstring curl. Um, you can set the resistance profile on here as well. So if you have a look here, it's got numbers here and you can set it to what profile you want. So I set it to number two because I prefer it to be harder towards the end of the exercise. Um, but you can set it like middle range, um, beginning of the range and stuff like that. So before getting on here, you want to make sure that your pads are in the right place. You don't want it too far up your calf because otherwise you're going to just feel in your calf rather than your hamstrings. So make sure that's set in properly. Make sure you're sitting in line with the rotation here. So if you just sit up here, make sure your seat is in place. Here. 
Make sure this is in line where you want it. There, and then. So again, you want it not too far up, because otherwise you are gonna feel in your calves. And then make sure this is really nice and tight. And also what you wanna think about doing is sort of like hunching over slightly, because what you find, if you sit back, your glutes are gonna start sliding forwards, and you're gonna be thinking about trying to stay in the seat rather than the actual movement. So I always have a slight hunch. I grab onto the this front of the seat here, and then I just drive. I drive into, the, into my thighs here, pause at the top to stop any momentum, drive down, stop again to stop any momentum, and then slowly release the weight here, and then back down again. That's okay. So before I train glutes, I like to activate them first because I just find it much easier when I go into the um, exercise because I can feel it more. Um, so I just do some side kicks and then some donkey kicks. I just probably do like 20 on each side, just for a little warmer. So my first exercise is the adductor. I like to use this pad just because it goes more in line with my knees, so if I show you what I mean. Without the pad there, as you can see, my knees don't align with the bend here, and my, what will happen is my glutes will just start to slide forward, and I'll start having an arch in my back. So if I show you what it's like with the pad there, it just brings me closer, and I'm more aligned here with the, the bend in the machine. So it's just gonna make it easier for me and I'm gonna feel it more in my adductors as well rather than my lower back. So next I got the glute drive. I have quite a lot of warm-up sets on this just because I do quite a heavy weight. So rather than just jumping on and just doing like, I don't know, like 200 straight off, what I like to do is like I put like 40 on the side and I keep building that up then just to see if it's okay because obviously if I can feel like a niggle somewhere, obviously I'm not gonna continue to up the weight. So I like to just warm up that way. I only do like two, three reps on each one just to make sure everything feels okay. Um, and then I go into my working set then. I have like three working sets, um, but I just love the hip stress because I feel like this is like the best way to grow your glutes. I actually have hip stress in three of my lower exercises because um, I just think it's really needed as well. So if you find like your feet are sliding forward once you've up the weight, which is quite common, if you've got these little biscuit plates, just pop these here and then just put your feet in front, it'll stop you then from sliding forward. Because I know myself, like when I didn't have these there before and I trusted the weight, my feet slid forward and I couldn't rack the weight and I ended up on the floor. Um, so just use those to avoid that happening to you. <laughs> Um, but I like to do two to three warm-up sets just to see how it feels, make sure I can't feel my calves because that's, you know, if it's not set up correctly, that's what will end up happening. Um, I like to have my resistance profile on number two and that just basically means it'll be harder towards the end of the movement. <laughs> Ah, 
So next I have the pendulum. I got two working sets on here, so I like to do like two to three warm-up sets. So because this was obviously I wanted to be more glute focused, what I like to do is bring my legs up higher. Because if you bring your legs here, it's going to be more quad focused. So if you bring it up quite high here, and then come down nice and low, nice step here, you're going to feel it more in your, in your glute and then push back up. So what you want to think about is rather than pushing upwards, think about pushing out rather than like straight up. So just like this, nice step, and then push outwards. One more, one more, one more, come on. So next I have the leg extensions. On here I have like two working sets, but because of the weight I use, I like to do three to four um, warm-up sets. Next, I got the abductor machine. So, some little pointers here. So, when you sit in here, I see this quite often. You want you have your back completely against the pad. What you don't want to be doing, you don't want to be leaning all the way forward because then it's going to make it much easier for you to push through the pads. So, what I see quite often is people holding on to this and then pushing. You are literally pushing with momentum and nothing else. So, we don't want to do that. You want to think about your back completely against the pad and driving with your knees rather than pushing your heels up because again even if I'm like this I'm literally got gravity pushing me like down and it's going to be easier for me to push up like this whereas if I sat back and done it it's going to be a lot harder and I'm going to be literally just using my knees and just like that and just control the weight on the way back. Bulgarian split squats. So my little points for this, you want to, if you're going to target glutes, make sure your leg is out further, because if you put it in closer, and we have my balance, here you're going to be focusing more on quads, whereas, sorry, my balance is awful. <laughs> if you go further away, you're going to target more of your glutes, and have a nice step, and then back up. Again, you want to be controlling the movement down, slight pause at the bottom, and then drive up. Pause again and then drive back down.
done, cardio's done, I'm just going to have my post workout meal. I got 100 Coca Pops, 200 milk, this one's nearly run out, that's why I have two. 30 whey and 10 peanut butter. So that's my training session all done. It's my one of the three leg sessions I have a week. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, share, and comment, um, and subscribe. And we'll see you next week.